get back to it. All right, guys, so let's kind of do some general low-hanging fruit stuff that we're going to see. Can everybody see the metal boxes, words in the middle of the screen? Everybody see that where it says metal boxes? Can you see that? Yeah, I see metal boxes. Okay. All right, so let's talk about metal boxes first, kind of get that out of the way. So metal boxes, four-inch square boxes, device boxes. Um, you're going to use 314.16. So remember, metal boxes right here. Now, a couple things to remember. This is a minimum cubic inch as shown right here. You could have a box, okay, that actually is stamped with a different value that's right, right so here. So these values thing. that are right here. So let me give you All an right. example. Next, volume marking on the metal box. So I kind of told you ahead of time. So you have what's in your table. That is if they do not tell you in an exam, but they actually give you the box dimensions that you can correlate on a metal box with this table. Then you use the volume box is different. So you're not going to use table 314.16a at all with a non-metallic box, obviously, to go without saying. The volume is going of that box is going to be marked in the back, embossed in it, in the back of those non-metallic okay. boxes. Now let's talk about capacity. So we talked about metal box. That's what the cubic, uh, the cubic inch capacity is. We talked about the nail-up boxes, plastic boxes. They're going to have it marked in there. That is a cubic inch. We'll look at the math, but we need to know what that's a volume. So now we're looking at, well, what do I what do I do to get additional volume if necessary? In other words, I'm putting a number of conductors in the box through cable or raceway, and now I'm starting to push that volume. And we haven't figured out how to do the volume count. In case it's on an exam where you get them an extension ring or that shows you a mud ring with the value on it. So as you can see here, additional capacity can only be calculated when the plaster ring extension ring, sometimes referred to as mud ring. We tried to clarify that in the 2023 NEC to come out. Was it a plaster ring or is it a mud ring? I think you're going to see them start calling it mud ring, even though that's what they say the standard. We've kind of moved from metal. We've moved now into uh, whereas they have to stamp it. They have to durably and legibly mark it in there in non-metallic boxes. Now, some non-metallic boxes are marked with a maximum number of certain sizes of books. Which, which one of these items do you think that's a violation of under 314.16b? Which one of these numbers so, deals with the Let's talk about the equipment ground. So this is a, the, a change that took place for the 2020 NEC. So for you that are on the 2017, hey, this is your chance to relax, grab a drink. And, and, and if you know that that all of your equipment grounds in a box only count is one volume count. A quarter volume allowance shall be made for each additional equipment ground conductor or bonding jumper that enters the box based on the largest equipment ground conductor or equipment bonding conductor. Okay, and that's what it says in 300.1416 B5. We've got some chevrons here. So since this is more than likely low hanging fruit on an exam, if you're able to highlight you should already see most of this already highlighted in your 20 we, we talked about the conductors and what, what table we're going to use. And that is this table for the conductors. Each conductor has a volume amount. What we didn't talk about is in detail is these clamps. So the clamps could be, and I'll go back so let's to the graph. Look at the mystery of a loop. I will say six. So it says a conductor that passes through the box without a splice or termination, which is unbroken, counts as one. And here's the devices again we talked about earlier. This duplex receptacle counts again, this one. Since 12 wires going to it, this is a double volume and you base it on the 12. Let's kind of wrap some stuff here and put our head around it. Wire connectors, pigtails, lock nuts, bushings, raceway connectors, grounding screws, and equipment bonding jumpers that's from the box over to the device or whatnot, okay? They are not a factor in box. So a lot of you see the fixtures that you have, the luminaires that have that dome. So you have a box and you put the dome over it. Yep. Okay. All right, so it's an example of a dome. So when you have, this is the these are the portions of the conductors that come out. So you have the building wiring that's up here in, inside of the building, the, the, the outlet. And then they come through and they make splices and they have this dome and then they come down through this uh, swag chain. So the whole maximum number of 12 permitted in a four inch octagon box right. that is one and a half deep. One and a half. Okay, this is the box, point. right? Yo, this is the one we're dealing with, right? Right? They were all 12s and it says yeah. you can have six conductors. Remember what I said earlier? That 
they take away this this is if you didn't have anything in the box but if you want to use this then you treat these as conductors and remember that's why i said think of a hickey as one conductor think of a stud as one can think of a box as, as a device as two conductors think of an internal clamp as one conductor think of all equipment grounds up to four of them as one conductor think of all of them over four each one is a quarter volume additional allowance so this is example of a question that could throw you on an exam because you're thinking what happened paul <laughs> yeah you're you're thinking Okay, I gotta count for those two conductors. So that's 2.25 for two conductors. And then, oh, I got the double volume up for the device. So that's 4.5 for the two. God, now that's nine cubic inches, whatever. If I add the two together, you know, is that nine, four, eight? Yeah, yeah, nine. And then you do that. And that's what you did for the 12. And then for the 10, you know, for the 14 gauge, you do it again. And that would be wrong because that's not what the question was asking. You get me?